We've all made the mistake of saying something bad to someone we like. Whether it sounded better in our head or it was a slip of the tongue, we usually don't mean it and are embarrassed by our mistake. But sometimes a little negative comment here and there isn't as innocent as the person saying it would like us to think. When someone brings you down by giving you backhanded compliments, that's called negging. And even though they may think it's flirting, it is not. So let's look at the signs that someone is negging you and not flirting. Number one, insults disguised as a compliment or joke. Teasing is almost necessary in the process of flirting. It adds some much needed levity to a relationship and can be used to prove whether or not someone can laugh at themselves or flirt back through teasing. It's easy to think that someone is teasing you when, in reality, they're negging you. Telling the difference can save you a lot of heartache. Negging can instinctually sting and is likely to hurt your feelings. Negging can come in the form of a compliment sandwich, where the person negging you gives you a compliment followed by an insult and then follows that up with another compliment. Their tease might also stick with you for longer. It might cause you to question something about yourself or give you a new insecurity. They may say things like, wow, you're really pretty for someone who doesn't wear much makeup. It's refreshing to see natural beauty, but you know you could look even better if you put a little more effort into your style. And when you feel insulted, they may push the blame onto you by using phrases like, can't you take a joke? And of course, I'm just teasing you. Number two, it's becoming familiar. After a while, you might find yourself expecting their backhanded compliments. You might even make excuses for them, brushing it off as their way of flirting. When negging is ingrained in a relationship, it can become emotionally or verbally abusive, if it isn't already. You may feel like you can't speak out against it because they'll accuse you of being too sensitive or making them feel bad. If you ever feel wrong for not liking the way they flirt with you, they're probably nagging you. Number three, toying with your emotions. Nagging isn't accidental. It's done to purposefully manipulate. When we flirt, we want the person we're flirting with to feel good. Flirting has an emotional goal. Nagging also has an emotional goal. Unfortunately, that goal is usually to break your confidence, to make you feel worse about yourself so that they seem better. It sounds so obvious and villainous when it's spoken out like that, but the emotional impact that negging can have shouldn't be underestimated. Knowing that the person you like almost likes you can be catastrophic. Imagine you are head over heels for someone and they say, I love your hair like that. It makes your forehead seem smaller. Sure, it sounds like a compliment, but you'll always worry they don't like your forehead. The attraction you might feel for the person nagging you is temporary, but the negative feelings you get from their backhanded compliments will build up. It's extremely unlikely that a relationship built on nagging will be a happy and satisfying one. If you find that you feel less confident the more time you spend with the person you like, they might be nagging you. Number 4. Narcissism Often, but not always. Negging is indicative of narcissistic traits. This isn't to say that all people who do it are narcissists, but it could be beneficial for you to look out for other narcissistic traits in the person you're flirting with. It might feel like the person is always trying to make themselves better than you, almost like it's a competition. They might constantly be trying to one-up you with their negging. They may also neg you in a way that compares you to others or even themselves. Pay attention to how their compliments unfold. Do they turn the conversation back to themselves? Do they negatively compare you to others when they compliment you? Number five, they think they will stand out or seem confident. Flirting can be intimidating. We don't always know how we're going to get someone's attention or if they will even respond to what we say. For some people, the solution is nagging. In a sea of compliments, the insult is what stands out. That may be what got you interested or talking in the first place, especially if insults can be played off as a joke. It might start off as an obvious insult, so brazen that it can only be a joke. If that's how things began for you, it's very possible that they are, and have always been, nagging you. We can't overstate the negative effects that nagging can have on your self-esteem and your relationship. All of the evidence suggests that a relationship with nagging is not a relationship anyone should be part of. Flirting isn't as ambiguous as we might believe, so trust your gut and remember that if someone truly loved you, constructive criticism, mean jokes, and teasing shouldn't hurt. If this helped you see things a little clearer, please leave a like on the video and remember to subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this. You've got this.